Today we're doing the first set of notes and we're going to be discussing graphing polynomials. So we're going to start off by graphing the equation y equals 1 half x to the third power. You should now notice that we are leaving the second power and moving up degrees higher than 2. To figure out the matching y values, you simply need to plug the values in. So for some scratch work down here, I'll have 1 half times negative 2 cubed. You can type that in the calculator, you could use Desmos, or you could just think about it in, by, in your head. Um, negative 2 cubed will be negative 8, and half of negative 8 will be negative 4. If I were to make this a positive 2, a positive 2 cubed would be positive 8, and half of 8 will be um, then I need to plug in 1 and a negative 1 so let's do our 1 first so 1 cubed is 1 half of 1 is 0.5 if I plugged in a negative 1 to begin with negative 1 cubed is negative 1 and half of negative 1 is negative 0.5 and then when I plug in 0 0 cubed is 0 times a half is still going to be 0 and now we plot our points, so I have a negative 2, negative 4, negative 1.5, 0, 0, 1.5, and 2, 4. And your graph will look something like that. Now going over some questions about your graph. So your domain will be negative infinity to infinity. So that will be the same. It'll always be that for a um, polynomial. The range is going to be also negative infinity to infinity. Um, the reason being is that these x values over here, or sorry, y values are going to grow forever down, and these y values up here will go forever up. Increasing and decreasing. Um, so increasing and decreasing is talking about the slope, and you always are going to write it like you do the domain. This graph has a positive slope um, the whole time is increasing the whole time. We always go left to right for increasing and decreasing. Um, even though the slopes are changing over time, they're still positive. So we'll say it's increasing from negative infinity to infinity, which means we're not decreasing at all. So we use Na, which means not applicable um, for decreasing. This problem also is not the best for in introducing terminology because this one does not have a maximum nor does it have a relative minimum. And we'll get into that more on the next problem. So our next equation is y equals negative x plus 3x squared. And again, you just need to substitute these values in. So I'll have negative of a negative 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 2. Uh, negative 2 cubed will be negative 8. And over here, this will become minus 6. This double negative will become positive 8 minus 6, which is 2. So I'm going to now pause my video and fill in the rest of the table. I ask that you do the same and then hit resume once you've filled in the rest of your y values to see if you got it correct. So checking your y values, again, you have different um, tools that you can use. You can use Desmos Scientific Calculator to plug this in. I don't recommend using your phone. I think a lot of times we make mistakes on our phone. Um, so now we'll plot our points. So I have negative 2, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, and a 2, negative 2. Now, um, as we get, again, higher in the graphs, you might want to use different tools to help obtain the graph. So you would want to Google Desmos graphing, and that will give you access to a graphing calculator. So you would type the equation in so that you can know how to connect your dots. So when you look at the graph, it'll look something like that. Um, you are welcome to use the technology. I just ask that you make accurate pictures. Please don't just draw the graph really quickly, look at the graph and actually plot the points. So going over some terminology, our domain for this problem will be negative infinity to infinity. The range will be the same. Um, again, we read our graphs left to right. So if I start on the left-hand side, traveling to the right, my graph has a negative slope. 
Um, this is where it has a negative slope. And then it changes directions, and from here to here I have a positive slope. And then again I change directions and I have a negative slope over here. So the way we would write it, again we use x values. So I'm increasing in this section right here. So I'm increasing from negative 1 to 1. Again, if you're saying to yourself, why isn't it negative 2 to 2? You need to use x values, not y values. I am decreasing from negative infinity to negative 1. So that would be this piece right there. And I'm in decreasing again from 1 to infinity. So that has two areas of decreasing. This problem also has a relative max and relative min. So the word relative means relatively highest besides infinity. So your relative max is going to be located, um, let me change my color real quick, just so we're not looking at the same color every time. So your relative max is located right there. So that coordinate is 1, 2. And your relative min would be that point down there, which would be at negative 1 negative 2. So that's all for today. There's a couple practice problems for you to try.